Hey guys, uh, this is Lei from Goldfish Corner. Today I like to talk about uh, the history of ranchos. Now this is ranchos. Rancho is one of the most popular goldfish breed in the world. It also called the king of Japanese goldfish. Well, the breed of origin from eggfish uh, or danzhong goldfish. This is a modern red egg goldfish a region of uh, the rancho. And I look around all the Japanese uh, history book, I was able to find uh, this sentence actually in Japanese. So I translated, it said, the rancho and sister is displayed in the fish and weed paintings back in 1429 in the Ming Dynasty of China. So the question mark is, how can we find fish and weed paintings? So that's my next study. And unfortunately, I was not able to find the original fish and weed paintings. However, I found a bowl with uh, goldfish back to the same period um, which made in Ming Dynasty from 1426 to 1435. There's uh, weeds and lotus and also lotus flower around a typical goldfish. I wouldn't see it's eggfish because you can clearly see it has a dorsal fin on the back, but it is red color. And also most important thing, if you see the tail. So the tail of this red goldfish already split. It has split tail, probably around one, two, three, four, four lobes. So I can see this is a red goldfish back to the Ming Dynasty. So what about an egg type of goldfish without dorsal fin in Chinese paintings? I found this one from mid Qing Dynasty back in early 18th centuries in China. And this is almost like a modern goose head goldfish. It has a white body and no dorsal fin and has the a red color of wing development. And the next one, which is about 100 years later in the 19th century, this is also from Qing Dynasty, is pretty much an egg fish without a dorsal fin and it has long tail. I don't think there is a split, probably like three lobes of tail. So that's kind of the Chinese side of egg fish. So next one, we talk about the etymology of ranchos. Why we call this particular goldfish as ranchos. So we believe this is the earliest Japanese goldfish textbook uh, back to 1748. And the author was Kishi Adachi. Uh, his book is How to Read Goldfish in his Goldfish book, which I found from Japan National Diet Library. Here clearly says here is Ranchu, and those two uh, Japanese characters. So the word Ranchu was likely evolved from uh, the Cantonese pronunciation of Chinese word eggfish danzhu. So here is the sort of a timeline or evolution line. So the top is Chinese characters called danzhu. English means uh, eggfish. The pronunciation in Cantonese is Tan Chong. So Japanese translated in Japanese Kana and define the two characters has the closest pronunciation Ran Chong. So the first word Ran means egg. The second word Chong means basic worm. So if you look at those two characters, it means it's Dutch worm. And then if you found the pronunciation translated now back to R-A-N-C-H-U as ranchu. However, um, that book does not show the drawing of the of the ranchu back to 1748. Here is the picture that I found, which we believe has a similar shape as the Asian ranchu. This type of goldfish is still uh, exists. Uh, this typical breed is called a maruko or round fish. It has uh, no head whorls and also no dorsal fin. And there's no back fin, very, very clean back. This probably give you the similar image of Asian ranchu picture looks like. So now we need to find out when was the first import. It also in the same book as How to Raise Goldfish from author Kishi Dachi. And in his book, so 1502, that was recorded the first Chinese goldfish that was imported to Japan during the Miramachi period. Here's what I mark on the book. If I translate it, it said they came to 
uh, Sake, which is currently the Osaka city, on the lunar calendar day on the January 20th of the second year of Banki, which is equivalent to 1502 by uh, Kishi Adachi book on how to raise goldfish. However, even though the first imported goldfish, breeding technology was not established, and also those goldfish was an uh, exotic pet, which is only for the wealth families. So it's not uh, in the average Japan family yet. Now, a hundred years later from 1502, now we move in 1603 to 1868, and this is called um, Edo period. And during the Edo period, the trading's between China and Japan become more frequent. A typical from a Chinese city called Ningbo, which is very close to Shanghai, and the trade from Ningbo to uh, Japan city is um, Nagasaki. What about the ship? I got some image of the old uh, trading ship called a Tang ship. And this is the moment that a Tang ship is coming into the Japanese port in Nagasaki. So you can see it's a two, uh, there's a three mask and two of the mask already lower flag. And the ship is really big. You can see the people is directly this size. So you can imagine there are going to be a lot of goods and uh, merchandise in the ship. Uh, now let's talk about this a journey from China to Japan for those typical traders life. So the trip actually could took over half years and gold ship was not only a commodity but also could serve as a pet to the Chinese traders. They put the goldfish with them into the ship. And here's the Ningbo. Everyone knows Shanghai. So Ningbo is pretty close to Shanghai in the southern part of China. And in the springtime, the southern wind actually pushed the ship to the northeast. And that allowed them to arrive in Nagasaki. And during the summertime, those traders actually stay in Chinatown to wait for a different direction of the wind. And in the fall, the wind changing the direction to the northern wind send them back to China. So take actually more than three seasons uh, trip. So it's, it's, it's pretty long. How about those ranchos looks like? And obviously the only way we can look this ship is to track those ancient Japanese book to find out any illustration. So I found one, this is a very famous one, back to 1831, early Edo period. And here is, it's like a scroll. So here's a manuscript, everything is drawn by hand. This is beautiful, Da, You can see uh, this again, uh, this is a whole seven volume. This is only one of the uh, volumes which highlight in Miyagi library. The author is uh, Kurimoto Tansu. So published back to 1831. And this one interests me because this shows almost everyone is egg fish. Let's start from the right side. So this word is actually called a gold turtle. So gold turtle, think about a turtle. Turtle does clean back, so there's no dorsal fin. Those goldfish has pretty clean, there's no dorsal fin. However, there's uh, still some problem due to the instable genes. Like this one, there still has a tiny little dorsal fin. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and those six Rancho, they actually has a pretty detailed drawing, pretty much red color with with golden glint. And this one actually has the uh, black tail. This one actually has a split. It has a split tail, so which very similar to the modern ranchos. One, two, three, four. It's a four loop tail uh, with a split in the middle. That's the typical. And this one probably also has a little split. This one on the left bottom corner is called a lying head. So this is probably the first early image of lying head. You can see very thin layer of head growth of wing, but has nothing like today's rancho with massive wing on head growth. So this is just the beginning. And then the question is, how accurate of this uh, illustration books? The only way to approve, let's check other fish. So let's. Take the second page. These fish actually recorded in the same book by um, Kurimoto. It's all saltwater fish, and you can see this almost like a modern digitalized picture. They're so vivid and so real. Not only the color, and also the detail in the scale and eyes and the thing, very detailed. I believe, and this picture is probably the way it is of all those uh, ranchu goldfish back to 1831. So what about the other book? Now I find the second book also from 1835, which is four years later. The author, Mori 
a banging. Uh, I got this image from the same library in Japan, National Diet Library. This book is called a, 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 a Bain's fish book. It's including not only the saltwater fish, or freshwater fish, also a few goldfish. Page 38, catch my attention. There's a three goldfish and those three goldfish without a dorsal fin. That is the rancho. So let's zoom in a little bit here. And this one and that one. So if you look at it here, the shape is more smooth. It still has a little bit of bumps here, but it's more uh, circular shape. So the wing growth is not very much. It's very clean when there's no head growth and also the regular eyes. So this is kind of a produced a similar uh, image as the Kurimoto's uh, fish illustration book. Uh, again, the same question how accurate of those three goldfish so the only way we check is check other page in Bain's fish book so this page beautiful saltwater fish it just like took picture from the oceans if he can draw the picture of saltwater fish like this so the goldfish page probably very much real 1862 which is a milestone of old rancho development and this is actually has the first rancho show it was Osaka Rancho Show. This is Os Osaka Rancho. Um, this one even show the original registration table. That was amazing. I mean, they can still archive those things to preserve over a uh, hundred years. You can see on the bottom back to uh, 1862. So from there, the rancho breeding got established and also the standardization gradually developed. And that's actually opening a new stage for rancho's development. And you're probably curious what exactly Osaka Rancho looks like. It's quite different than today's uh, Japanese Rancho. So this is the picture. It has the pom-pom, red and white color, and not too much head grows. So as goldfish um, grows in Japan, goldfish also um, blended into Japanese culture. Like China, the goldfish is a symbol of wealth, fortune, and good luck. So this picture shows a traditional a goldfish lantern that everyone has outside their house to bring the good luck to the family. The ideal color of goldfish is a vermilion color with gold glint, which means a double luckness. The reason is gold, obviously you can see those Asian gold coin that brings wealth to the family. And the red is actually dispel illness or misfortune. So if you put those two good things together, you obviously get a double likeness. Japan is a four season country. So back to the old time, Japanese people tend to fully aware and appreciate the four seasons. So every season they have their represented animals. And goldfish are affiliated with summer in Japan. Picture in the middle, that's a, a lady wear a traditional uh, cloth. Obviously, it looks like a summertime. They're doing the traditional activity is called goldfish scooping. And this activity, which is very interesting, is typical summer evening. If we talk about the history of Japan or history of Rancho, you cannot ignore Yukios. Because Yukios is literally means a picture of a floating world. That's their way to record the image of old time of Japan. It was flourished from the 17th centuries to 19th centuries. So basically the whole Edo period got fully covered. It typically produced from wood block print and the subject including female beauties, folk tales, the famous things in history. So that is a great resource to study not only the rancho history, but also the history of, of, of Japan. This one is called a two goldfish in water printed in 1830. 30s. It also produced in wood block, a uh, preserved in uh, Minneapolis Institute of Art. So we can see a few things. One, those are no dorsal fin goldfish, type a typical rancho like goldfish. Um, there's no split in tail. So one, two, three, three lobes tails. These clearly see there's the zero wing growth because you can even see the scales on the head. So there's no head growth uh, in this goldfish. Also, they keep it in the outdoor rivers or outdoor pond. And this uh, picture I actually found from um, a Japanese art open database. And you see uh, two ladies with one kid. They actually feeding goldfish in summertime. And all of those goldfish has a little or no dorsal fin. So typical egg 
fish type of goldfish with a very long tail. So one thing if you remember the first picture and this picture, this probably show the early time uh, when the Japanese people keep the goldfish, they actually keep outdoor, in pond, not indoor. Um, so now time move on to 1855, and this uh, Ayukioi showed a big ceramic bowl in the house. So this has become indoor keeping. So goldfish is actually starting from, at least starting from 1855, they keep the goldfish indoor. And all the goldfish without a dorsal fin. And this one, uh, maybe 10 years later, this one from 1863, mom and, and son relation and during the summertime, and mom actually has a fishing net in her hand. They're probably doing goldfish scooping uh, in their house because there has a little bowl over here and they keep goldfish indoor with a ceramic. This one you probably see many times. This is one of the famous goldfish painting from 1865. This is actually show a goldfish seller carry two big wooden bowl and with goldfish. The only thing I want to highlight is there's one, two, three. There's three um, small goldfish bowls and they actually keep goldfish in the bowl. So in the later Edo period time, and the goldfish bowl are starting popping. <laughs> period uh, starting from 1868 to 1912 and many researchers believe this is the starting time for modern Japanese rancho. Um, a few things I want to mention first as I said early on goldfish bowl or many times Japanese people call it king yudama gradually become popular container and uh, you can see this is actually the real uh, king yudama of the goldfish bowl and this is the second picture shows how do they carry this goldfish bowl? Um, later on, Yukioi picture printed in 1898. They actually has a beautiful aquarium in the middle, and one of the Japanese lady actually watching and maintain. This aquarium is 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 huge, almost uh, two thirds of her height. Uh, because the goldfish bowl and aquarium tank, this uh, device actually revolutionized goldfish keeping. Because you actually you can appreciate the goldfish beauty from top view and side view. Well, one thing, this is a lazy reminder. Please, please wake up. Do not use goldfish bowl to keep your goldfish. This is only for view. View is hard to keep the water quality. If the water quality is getting is bad and your goldfish will die. All right, so now we're going to talk about one of the famous family, the Ishigawa's family back to 1885. So from 1885, uh, Kemiyoshi Ikigawa founded the famous, probably the oldest association, it's called Kwan Yu Association in Tokyo. Um, they actually defined an annual goldfish show or goldfish contest. Rancho keeping start become standardized. These annual Kwan Yu Association show also promoting the technology exchange so I would think many people believe the Ishigawa's work proved his ranchos not only from the top but also from the side view. And Ishigawa's work is the foundation of modern ranchu type. Um, you probably heard of this uh, Kayuke Ki. So now the time moved to um, 1903. So one of the popular uh, breed is called Osaka Ranchu. I was not able to find an actually colorful image but I find this uh, wood block uh, print, goldfish question and answers, and from Ojio uh, Miyoshi's. So this is to uh, give you what is the main attributes of Osaka Rancho. So typical Osaka Rancho, as you can see from here, is no dorsal fin, uh, no head grow, but more signature is two palms, which is very cute. And the color is typical red and, um, and white. Red eye or red lip, There's those two are optional. So this one is on the cover page. It's called a Japan King. Now I'm gonna show uh, four more pictures. And this is called a Royal King. Three lobe tails, no split. Uh, beautiful curved back. Each scale actually has two color. Has both red and the white color. So this is a very rare color. That's why they call it Royal King. 
And this one is called Red Leaf. They have the center back is white color cleanly. There's a clean boundary between white and red color. So the red color is on each side, looks like a red leaf. Again, also the three lobe tail, no split. And also with the red lid and red pom pom. And this one called Red Crown, obviously, only head is, is, is white. And there's no head growth for this type. And this one is called a Yoshino Mountain, red color scale uh, distributed on the white base. I guess this is probably the mountain view, uh, the red flower on top of snow mountains. That's what. And now as time grow and people start questioning their taste of beauty, uh, 1912, and many breeder question, is head grow yes or no? That time the Osaka stuff faded away. And the replacement is another, is called Lion Head Rancho with a strong head development and becomes a popular uh, around Tokyo areas. So there's uh, this picture and this is the, um, the Lion Head uh, shape. Now you can see it's very similar why we call the Lion Head Ranchos. And then uh, the Osaka Rancho was extinct after the World War II. And the currently breeders still trying to bring the Asian uh, Osaka Rancho back, they actually recover, they crossbreed Japanese Rancho with Tosaki. This is probably the best of the modern recovered Osaka picture I can I can brow. The only thing difference now they have split tail. Color is great, pom is great, uh, red eye is great. Um so now the time back to 1938. This is actually the nice rancho show. Uh, now I'm showing the four award winning rancho back to 1938. Um, you can see this, this is, I put uh, two modern um, ranchos uh, on the bottom so we can compare. So they are quite quite different. One is back to old time. This picture actually from the side. We mainly prefer side view versus modern time. We actually watch from the from the top. And also the height grow is getting there, but not as massive as modern ranchos. Um, they also tend to have more round shape uh, than the modern ranchos. So what about the top view of those 1938 ranchos? Well, here's what I found. This rancho from side view, you also from top view. So the only thing you can see is the top view, the, the rancho tends to has a little bit heavy body, more round shape rather than slim. So the old time is, is, is a little fat. All right, so this one, so back to uh, 1941, uh, this picture shows the 56 King Yu Association show. You can see again, I want to highlight on this rancho. If you look at here, this is a perfect elliptical shape. You have a curly back and also a round body. So it's, it's quite different. Again, it's also from side view. So back to uh, 1941, it's still from the side. And this is 1972, 53 King Raikai Association show. And this is the, uh, the original registration forms. And now this is the spawn ranchos. This is the second year's ranchos. And this is the first year ranchos. Again, you can see uh, the back is, is getting better and, um, and the head grow is, is starting to develop more winds. Uh, again, all the picture is took from the side. So back then they still prefer the side view. Now you're probably confused. There's so many different rancho association and different rancho shows. Uh, can you give me a list? Now, I'll just give you this uh, three popular Rancho Association. So the first one is Can You Association. This is the oldest uh, um, uh, Rancho Association established back in 1885 by uh, Ishigawa family in Tokyo area. So you have two contests each year. One is spring, one is fall. Um, the second one is uh, King Rankai Association. And this one is for Western Japan centered in Osaka area. It was established back in uh, 1990s. They also has uh, two shows. Uh, one is in spring, one is in fall. And the last but not least is a national wide um, uh, contest uh, from Japan uh, Rentio Association. It's established back in 1955. Um, annual show only once per year, starting from November the 3rd at 9 o'clock, rain or shine. All right, so now the time goes to uh, 1998. Can you associate show 11 tens uh, show? 
um, is actually held in Ishigawa's house in the April 4th in Tokyo. Um, you probably see over a hundred years development uh, through the Kangyu Association. Now the the fish is very like uh, today's uh, rancho. That there's two things I want to highlight. One is still red and white color. Now they start from top view. They have a very strong head grow, but the head grow tends to a uh, rectangular from the top view. You can see it's not just random shape. This is pretty rectangular head growth in overall. They also have very strong um, caudal peduncle and also the tail tends to has tension as open tail. So what about the 21th century? I believe we can talk a full hour of this topic, but the core uh, value of 21th century of the aesthetics is the balance. Um, you can see um, we want a head grow, but you don't have too strong head grow and also the body shape. You don't want a, a so heavy body shape. So you want to have a rectangular shape. So everything's balanced. All right, so now also Rancho start to export it from Japan to other countries. Uh, I want to talk a little about China. The first imported uh, from Japan to China is actually to Fuzhou back to 19, uh, 1987. Uh, this master Qi Changye he was able to successfully uh, breed the first uh, 10 uh, Japanese Rancho. And he did not follow the Japanese uh, calling standard. They just called by his own understanding of goldfish. So he developed a, a Chinese ranchos, like you see. So Chinese ranchos is more round ship, uh, even more head growth than Japanese rancho. And the other thing is it has more vivid color. They not only there's a red and a white color, they also has a, a cow color with white and the black spots. And also this is called a tiger strip. Uh, almost like colico color. So they, they also prefer side view. This is different than Japanese rancho only. And the other thing is the tail is not as open as the Japanese rancho. They, they, they tend to have a little bit closed tail so you can have better view from the side. But also we have to mention the Thai lines. Thai also did a very good work to develop a, their own style a rancho we call it a, a, a buffalo tie rancho with very strong wind it's typical the wind underneath the eye is it looks like uh, buffalo horns uh, this rancho also has a kind of a crazy curved back to prefer side view all right so now this slide i'm going to talk about the modern rancho type so we probably have uh, uh, osaka rancho the breeder trying to burn it back and the two major uh, modern japanese rancho one is called a Kayoke Ki, uh, the, uh, the other one is Yuno Ki. So these are the two popular um, uh, system of modernized uh, Japanese rancho. We also have the rancho from Chinese and also the rancho in Thai. All right, I, I think that's it. It's been a long um, goldfish um, lecture. I hope you like it. And next time I'm going to talk about how to tell those uh, different type of ranchos. Um, I really hope you enjoyed today's show. Do not forget to give me a like and also uh, join my Goldfish Club by click the bell button and subscribe to my channels. Uh, you never miss any of those videos and you get notification first of my next videos. Alright guys, enjoy the video. See you next time. Bye bye.